Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to breed your own mealworms at home. So first, I'm going to go over everything you need. Second, I'm going to go over their diet. And third, I will show you guys my process on how I breed my mealworms. So you really only need three things, which are a few shoe boxes. I'd say probably get three to four. Then you need some bedding. I use ground oatmeal, but you can also use wheat bran. So I prefer to use oatmeal, even though I like wheat bran better, just because oatmeal is a lot more affordable and it's a lot more readily available too. I've searched for wheat bran at like multiple supermarkets, but it seems like it's a specialty item for some reason. So I just take the oatmeal. And then the last thing you're gonna need are some mealworms. So since we are using a bedding that could be dry food, you only have to feed them the other foods maybe once or twice a week. Aside from the oatmeal, I feed them three things which are apples, carrots, and potatoes. Carrots are my favorite just because apples and potatoes seem to make the substrate a little soggy and they go bad faster than carrots. And that's all you need to feed them. You don't have to give them water because they do obtain it from the three extra foods. So when you first start off the process, you're only going to need one of the boxes. I fill about an inch to an inch and a half of bedding just so they can burrow in the substrate and be a little more comfortable. So pretty much once you get your first batch of mealworms in here, you're just going to raise them inside this bin. And once they start to transform into the metapods is when you're going to want to move them to a new bin. So if you didn't know, mealworms go through a phase where they turn into bees before they turn into beetles. And they don't transform all at the same time, so pretty much when I see them is when I'll start to move them over to the second bin. They don't eat anything while they are the pods, so you could just let them sit in the bin until they fully form into beetles. I give them some cork bark just because it seems like they like to burrow and hide in it, but basically the care for the mealworms is going to be the same as the beetles. They can eat the exact same food. So the next step is what I would need my third shoe box for. When I start seeing mealworms in here is when I start to move the adult beetles to another bin. And then after that, you just basically repeat the process of moving them to bins. And once all the mealworms are grown out, you could clean that bin. I would recommend starting with at least 50 to 100 mealworms just because not all the mealworms make it and not all of them make it past the transformation too. So this is just a super easy and cheap way to have an unlimited supply of mealworms. I've had my bins for a few months now and I'm already overrun with mealworms. I only have three geckos so I have been trying to find other people to give my mealworms to. And even buying everything brand new, I think I only spent around $20 to $25. And just for that initial startup cost, I've had mealworms for a few months already. Just to wrap it up, so you will need the shoe boxes, a bedding, and mealworms to start off. And then the three things I feed mine are apples, carrots, and potatoes. So this is just my personal process. It works really well for me. You could definitely experiment and try other ways too. But again, it's super cheap and super easy. And if you did learn anything from this video, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will get back to them. And until next time, bye everyone!